I have Jeff Hall again. I'm here at the, uh, the Westford Museum, which is the original Westford Academy. Okay, there were four Westford Academies. This is the original. It was Westford Academy until 1897. Then it was the Rodenbush. And then it was the Abbott, starting in 1955. And then opening in 1974 was the original, the Academy now that we have on Patton Road and the expansion that took place there in 2001. Um, but I'm here to talk about my experience at the Abbott School. That's where I graduated from. The Abbott School, as I said, opened in the fall of 1955. And when it opened, it opened with grades seven through 12. Um, and uh, with the idea that if, the, as the town grew, they'd be able to expand upon this area. Well, that didn't happen, it never expanded. And by 1959, when I entered Westford Academy, I did not enter as a seventh grader, I entered as an eighth grader. I spent sixth and seventh grade at the Rodenbush because the town was growing. It was the post-World War II baby boom. So, eighth and ninth, eighth grade through 12th grade at the Abbott School. Things were a little different in town. The, um, the population in 1960 was about 8,000 people. Uh, the Westford Academy, grades eight through 12, housed about 525 people. Um, and uh, of course today, there's over 400 in just one class, a graduating class. But my experience here, um, geez, I, you know, you knew everyone in the school. If you didn't know them, if someone mentioned a name, you'd say, well, I don't know him, but you know, isn't he a sophomore and isn't he from Nab Nasset or hey, that's a Parker Village kid or Graniteville. Uh, and we were much more parochial at the time in that sense as well. Um, so I entered as, a, as an eighth grader. Uh, I was involved in government back then, president of my class in the eighth and ninth grades. Um, I also was involved with something called the Student Improvement Association uh, that put on different initiatives to try to show, try to improve the um, facilities and uh, worked with the administration up there. I got involved in sports. I wrestled as a junior and senior to keep up the Hall family tradition. Um, I, there were six state champions uh, for the Halls in the 1960s. None of them belonged to me, by the way. Those were all my brothers. Uh, but it was quite a tradition. Graduation was June 3rd, 1966. Uh, 127 kids in my graduating class. Um, a smaller number of us went on to college at the time, and many of them went on to uh, state colleges like myself, I started at Lowell State and then ended up at Salem, but that was, that was an option that many of us used. Kind of ironic, uh, interesting fact, 50 years later on June 3rd, 2016, my granddaughter Cameron, 50 years to the day, graduated from Westford Academy as well. Great experience, town was a lot smaller back then, and you know, it, it was, um, as I said, everyone seemed to know everyone in town, and everyone seemed to know everyone in the school, or at least knew who they were. Dan Desmond was the principal when I graduated. He walked down the aisle, checked the boys, and said, your hair's touching your ear, get it cut. And if you don't, you won't be able to take part to graduation. Things were a little different back then. When you went to school, you wore chinos, no jeans, no t-shirts, no Bermuda shorts. Uh, and uh, we turned out okay as a result of it. So, great experience at the Abbott Middle School today, but it was Westford Academy from 1955 to 1974.